Hi. Right. So what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Trent. We chilling. Uh, saw a couple things wrong with the car. Depending on which video you get to see out of this one, you'll see the name of the title. But I'm gonna chalk it up to one intro. So I've already got my intake off, which literally just a flathead screwdriver. You get it out. I, of course, I have an aftermarket, and I took the cover off and all that. But yes, I do need to clean everything in here. So a couple things. For one, whichever video you're gonna see, I'm gonna chalk it up right here to where you'll know which one it is. So for one, this one is leaking. This little bitch right here. Came out of work, car was dripping. I'm not sure if it's still dripping. Now you can see a little bit, but we're gonna replace it. And unfortunately, it's just not the, it's just not one little piece you're gonna replace. It's the whole thing which is a little bit ridiculous, but it's like, I guess, pressed on fittings. But to show y'all the parts numbers to actually get them done. Sorry right about that. So working with it. Uh, easy things to do. And go ahead and get this out of the way. Of course, I've already got it disconnected and we'll work around everything. All right, so real quick, flathead screwdriver. Go ahead and press this down. If I can get it. And usually I have a pick, but I don't have my pick on me. So man, move this out the way real quick. As you can hear one of my buddies Joaquin in the background. This damn popping ass car. Come on now, Mr. Locke. Only if I had my picks. I don't even know where they are. So there we go. So Pull it back just enough, push it down, you get it out, unclip it. For the stock intake, I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna be for you for the vent, but you know what? I'm just gonna set it out of the way. Just gonna move it over here, get it out of the way so I don't have to worry about it. We get the tools and we'll go ahead and get this belt off. You wanna make sure to unclip it here so she's not in the way. This really shouldn't be clipped right here. You can tip it out of the way. Just set everything so you're not messing anything up. All you're gonna need is a pair of either channel locks, needle nose, you're gonna clamp, you're gonna crimp here, pinch it, pinch it, and then there's one at the very, very bottom if you can see it. And with that one, you just gotta pinch it and just make sure to pull it off. Pair of channel locks. All I'm gonna do is just grab it, pinch it, I'm gonna slide it back. Slide it back onto the hose. Same thing with this one here. If I could actually get this one. Squeeze it. And some of these might lock, just be, just be very mindful about pinching your hands, in all honesty. Let me go get a light so you can see that bottom one. All right, for this bottom one, should be able to see a little bit better. Just come around. All you have to do is just pinch it. A little bit of a pain because of the position it's in, but it'll be all right. Come on, little buddy. All right, hold on. Let's see if I get this one. All right, this one. This one I got some angle pliers for, for it, just to be able to grab it. Now, note this is gonna make a mess. So this one's gonna make a mess. So doing it, you're gonna need to get some coolant that I do have. You go to any parts store or anything that's gm um i know they of course chevy likes decks cool now with this it may be a little bit of a pain to get off like mine they're a little stuck on so a little trick is where's my screwdriver Let's see if i get my screwdriver in here i'm just kind of working around Try not to cut your hand open because I've seen my buddy put a screwdriver through his hand. 
seen that happen before. So, just kind of work it around. That should make it a lot easier to come free, which it did. And she, like I said, she is going to leak coolant. So, just be aware, you're going to have to replace some coolant. It may not leak a lot. It may. I'm unsure how much you're actually going to spill. Like right now, she is spilling a good amount. I'm going to kind of tuck that back on there a little bit. This bottom one. I'm going to work with it a little bit. I'm going to actually move that little clip. That's going to hurt my hand. I'm just going to go ahead and grab it and bring it on up. Just so it doesn't hurt my hand here. Now, I don't know what this hose goes to down here, and I don't know why. I don't know what it is down there. There we go. But, I don't know what that actually goes to, but I know it is a part of the coolant. Of course, that being the T, and it goes down to it. Last part. A little screwdriver under it, wiggle her off, and of course, pop the top one back off just like that. She is off. Set it over here. Let's look at it. Let's get my other one off the bag. What the bag actually wants to rip. Yeah, I'm Chevy. Takes you 10 years to give me parts, but the bag is on point, though. All right, so. We're looking at it same way always want to match up your parts of course this one may be a little bit lower just because of the fact that this is brand new it may sit up higher and tuck up a little bit more you know some things once they get worn out watch your feet once they get worn out they get worn out so it is what it is but you want to take off all your hardware and transfer it over which could be a little bit of a pain, like I said earlier. Just watch your fingers. So, all right, last one. This one's already clipped. I don't have to worry about it. Again, just make sure to watch your fingers because these things, what they do is they have a little piece that clips right here. And with that little piece, it'll just crimp it and it just stays. So, all you do is just throw it back, throw it on transfer it back over to the car and we'll go ahead and get this on okay drop it back down the way it came out i'm gonna go ahead and i'm just gonna push it on the radiator side first i know you gotta kind of persuade her a little tight sometimes you might have to spit on it that's what she said but i would give her a little bit of a wiggle and it'll go on just like that you want to make sure it's flush with the actual hose itself being to this little connector or this little tab letting you know that you're bottomed all the way out same thing with this this has a lip on this side where you could actually push it in and once you get it on she bottoms out can't go any farther she sits exactly right there now coming down to the bottom one the very last one and like i said earlier and i mentioned this may be a little bit different with itself because of the fact that you may have to work to get this bottom one on. Now, reason being is because it's a brand new hose and it's all nice and tight. So this bottom one kind of got to give her a wiggle a little bit. And just like that, she's on. Now, you which want to make sure you want to come around them. You want to feel on the bottom of them just to make sure the hose itself, like that one wasn't pushed all the way back. And like this one, I could see a little bit of how she's kind of not straight. Now she's straight and actually on. I'm going to go to this bottom one, fill it, and I could feel she is all the way squeezed on and pushed on and ready to go. So, go ahead and grab your tools. This one, I use the angle one for the bottom one. You don't have to. I just made it easier on myself. If you don't have access to this tool, 
a pair of straight needle nose is just fine especially if it's small a pair of channel locks also just fine like i said now with this being said you definitely want to be careful with your fingers going back on and make sure not to pinch any other hoses while you're trying to get this on in the procedure because this hose is pretty close go ahead and open this up one Okay, that's opened up one. Let's go ahead and move it over. Come on. Okay, well, yeah, let's just do this. I can barely grab it. All right, so. I'm got a nice wiggle. Go over here to this side now. I should be able to grab it. Actually grab it. And they, they do sell special tools for this. If you're in my circumstance, you don't have that special tool. So, a pair of channel locks, just like that, does just fine. You want to make sure it's not locked, like I showed you earlier. It has that little tab. If you have that little tab and it's squeezed all the way back and it's actually locked, what you can do is you can get a screwdriver. And you can take a screwdriver to it or, you know, your needle nose. And just get right up on it because it'll be back here. Just give her a little pop. It'll pop it and it'll actually lock it. So I'm gonna come on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and get this back one. That's tucked on this back side here. You might not be able to see it a little bit. So my arms are gonna get in the way. And that's just because of the way the actual hose clamp is. I'm go ahead and I'm just gonna pull it back to where I can grab it. A school bus being pretty damn loud trying to record here take your education somewhere else i'm educating people on the internet <laughs> all right so uh squeeze it get her wiggled on just like that and just make sure she's actually on all the way around like i can feel at the bottom i need to bring it up a little bit so just like that boom this fitting is on very last one very bottom this one's a little bit of the meticulous one and a little bit of the paint a little bit of a pain in the ass a little pain in the dick here i'm just gonna go ahead and grab her upside down and i'm gonna squeeze her Come on, you little pain in the ass. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it from this one now. So I did turn it so I can grab it. Come on, grab me up here. You don't know. Watch out for this boy. Nigga coming in fast as fuck. Nigga came in fast as fuck. Mm -hmm. Why are you hauling ass? What the fuck are you hauling ass for? I don't even haul ass down the street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, there we go. That one's on completely done and now with this we know we did lose some coolant so you definitely want to take off the actual top to your radiator and we're going to fill her back up as you can see she is empty or you can't even see at the top of it you can actually see in there how dry it is it's not filled up got our 50 50 mix of course you gotta add water to it but with this, I mean, I don't really need much of it. So I probably could have just added water. Um, now, I will say the car does have an additive. Uh, I added a little while back because I've noticed with this car, it just likes to get hot for no reason. Um, but, or it doesn't get hot, so to say, but. Ooh, let's see if I get the money. Ooh, money shot. Ooh. So, now I will say what you're gonna have to do though, is you're gonna have to burp this system. So. Once you get it topped off, you're gonna have to burp it. So 
that being said you're gonna have to start the car get everything burped and get it set up so real quick let me get everything buttoned up i'll show y'all you, you know really i don't think it's necessary for the you know the cool air intake whatever the cold air intake um i will show you though this definitely needs to go back on here um i don't know why they have such a big clip here i don't know you know it might have gone to something actually for on the stock radio the stock intake whatever but i know this definitely went on there to where it actually sat damn bugs but clip don't forget about it don't forget about your retaining clip your lock don't forget about that you definitely want that on there so you want to make sure now we'll say putting this back on we'll go ahead and get that set up and i'll show y'all not really show y'all but let me get this back together and i'll be back with y'all all right so as you see got everything back on buttoned up i'm gonna go ahead and just tighten all this down this is all you know the not important stuff So, as you saw, I got all that buttoned up. Little clip left. Clip her on. Make sure to push that in. Make sure it's locked, which it is. That's locked all down. Get it all started. Get it set up. So real quick, I'm gonna hop in here and break it down for y'all rather than, you know, going back over it because I was reviewing that footage and it was not worth it waking y'all wait the whole 10, 15 minutes of me trying to figure out what was going on with the car. So basically last off what y'all saw was I had, or I was filling up the radiator fluid and started the car. Car started great, everything was going great. Wouldn't get up the temperature. It was going well past it. it the thermostat was just not opening. So. I had the heater on full blast inside the car while I was running, trying to get it to open, squeezing lines, trying to get them, you know, to force some sort of coolant through to make, you know, make sure the car is not going to overheat while also trying to get all the bubbles out. So that didn't work. Did it a couple times. The car kept getting up really high in the temperatures, you know, 230, almost 240. So I was shutting it off, leaving the ignition on just to get the fans to cool it down. Of course, the fans were cooling it down. Having it on heat inside the car also was cooling it down um but with that i had to you know basically kind of suck it up and i poured as much fluid as i can in there closed off the radiator waited till it dropped to about 130 i got in the car and took off i went down the street kind of pushed it a little bit went to the next road pushed it a little bit also came back around parked the car checked everything and it actually opened up the thermostat and actually stayed cool which is great fixed itself don't know why it didn't want to work to begin with but it corrected itself and we got it fixed and as you see car's fine now you know one thing of course i ain't got my seatbelt on tpms lights on because the cold 
drop the tire pressure, but everything is running good. It's sitting at 185. We're chilling. So, yeah, I just wanted to get in here and break it down to where it wasn't, you know, y'all watching a long video for no reason on me just trying to figure it out. So, yeah, but other things. I hope this was informational. I hope it helped y'all out. But with that being said, you know, a uh, couple things, you know, word of wisdom today, whatever. Uh, be yourself, you know, be you. Um, I look at a lot of things and I see a lot of people that, you know, say in the car community, they don't want to do things to their vehicle because they feel like they're going to get criticized or, you know, hate for it. And there's no reason to feel like you're going to be, you're going to get hated on because you want to do what you want to do. You have a dream in mind and you have a goal in mind for that set vehicle, you know, your car, you know, that is your way of you know, making it yours or doing something to make it you, not nobody else, you, you know, I did that, not this person did that or this person did that, but you got to put faith in yourself to uphold the worth that you want to put into it. You know, if you're just gone and you're like, oh, I don't want to do that because I feel like, you know, this person is going to criticize me or you do it and somebody criticizes you and you're like, you know what, I, I don't like it. I'm going to take it off. You can't follow in the path of listening to others a lot of the times. So you got to take the path and the leap of, you know, a leap of faith yourself to figure it out and go on your own, your own way and your own path. You know, you got to go and learn different things and actually expand following and re walking over your steps or you know taking steps back because somebody says that you shouldn't do it you shouldn't do that you should do what you want to do and with that being said always keep a positive mind go forward you know think about things in your light not somebody else's you know not how it's gonna oh well you know this is not gonna work out if it doesn't work out that's fine you live you learn you have something to look back on you can move forward from it rather than if you didn't try to do something that you wanted to do because somebody said don't do it you may not get nowhere i'm not saying you know you're hopeless or you're not going to get nowhere in life but you may not get nowhere where you actually want to be Rather than you could push yourself and get to the point where you want to succeed and actually enjoy yourself in the light that it's yourself and not nobody else or, you know, a painted picture that you wanted to be because somebody else would say something about you. With that being said, hope you have a good day, good night, good morning, whatever time you're watching this. I hope to see you on the next one. Hit the like button, subscribe. Hope to see you all next time. Um, we'll see what next is going to be up in the little roster. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'll see you all next Wednesday. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.